Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now, today I'm going to be talking about, obviously, it's in the title, how intelligent are bass? If you actually look at bass, and well, if you look at bass compared to other fish that swim in the water. Because I think a lot of bass fishermen think bass are really, really smart. But let me start you out with a quote. This is a quote from Buck Perry. He's pretty much introduced the bass fishing world to structure fishing. And he has this famous quote that he says all the time. A bass fish has a pea-sized brain and has never had an original thought in his life. He is unable to size up a situation and to measure any particular consequence as a result of his action. Now right there, kind of putting the bass sort of at the bottom of the barrel there, isn't it? Well, that's in a bit of a contrast to what us as fishermen can do. We can size up a situation. We can decide what to do to either get results or not results. We have that sort of thought. We are that intelligent. The bass, on the other end, they can't do that. Now, there have been a lot of scientific studies in, in controlled environments, giving bass tests and seeing, you know, how well they learn because well, intelligence is learning. And, you know, they've looked at it quite a bit, and they've compared it to a lot of other fish. And you you might be surprised what kind of fish are further up in the, the brain derby than bass. First off, carp. Striped bass. And even channel catfish. If you're looking at intelligence and smarts and learn better those three fish actually learn better than bass they actually learn better than all of the sunfish family which includes you know bluegill green sunfish all those others so right off the bat you can kind of see that this this fish that we think is so smart and always gets the best of us fishermen isn't you know the smartest fish swimming down there in the water we're fishing According to the scientists, they say that yes, bass is a moderate learner, but not stellar. They can, you know, kind of train them to maybe do some things or watch them the way they react to lures and stuff and kind of grade them on their intelligence level. But they're not stellar. I mean, I just told you those three fish that are above them. And those three fish, most people think those are the easy ones to go catch. Well, except maybe striped bass, but I think people catch striped bass on a bigger average than they do largemouth. But still, carp, catfish, people don't really think of them as being smarter than the fish that we go after all the time. You just throw out some corn and you throw out a piece of chicken and you catch them. It's no problem at all. But these largemouth bass or smallmouth or spotted bass, they, they're tricky. They're smart. But evidently, when you look at the evidence, they're not that smart. I mean, a lot of fishermen think they learn to bait. You catch him on a certain bait, and a lot of people throw that bait, you're not going to catch him on that bait anymore. But in studies they've shown bass, yes, they do sort of have a memory to a bait. Sometimes, I've seen some that said to like up to three weeks, if you're in a controlled environment. Controlled environment, like a tank or something like that, totally different than being, than being in a pond and in a lake with all everything else going on. This is a controlled study. And they've proven, yeah, they might not hit the same bait for, you know, two, three weeks. Some say other studies say a month or two months or something but you gotta remember a bass has to eat to live it's a predator bass his whole life they only have three things on it don't get eaten eat and you know make babies once a year that, that's what their whole life is about they don't have a voice in their head they don't have anything else almost everything that's put into them was put into them from birth through genetics, through the DNA. It's instinctual, they don't learn, they don't think like us humans. And if they did learn and they were that smart and they tried to avoid lures that they've been caught on before or whatever, and they became too cautious, it would be a negative effect to them. They wouldn't eat anymore. They'd be too afraid to, to, to eat a bait, to chase them because according to us fishermen, they're worried that they're gonna get hooked and caught again. But no, nature, nature keeps their 
brains and that from not being that intelligent and not having that much thought capacity that it would be detrimental to them. They can't suddenly not want to eat and not be a predator because that's, I said, that's, don't get eaten and eat. That's the two major things their whole life. And people just keep thinking, oh, but they're so smart. And they're, they, you know, they, they just, they outsmart me and they think about that lure and oh, they hear the rattles in this, they've been caught before and this and that and all of that stuff. It's like, I think, I think the main problem with bass fishermen is, like I said, they're a lot smarter than the prey they're going after. And I think most bass fishermen think too much. We go too intelligent when we're trying to fish for bass. What we really need to do is dumb ourselves down to their level. They're not very smart. They're just a really good predator. So if you become as dumb as them and fish for them as dumb as them, not trying to be too smart for them and outsmart them and think that they're trying to outsmart you, I think most bass fishermen would probably start catching more fish. Well, think about it. If you go out on a boat and you bring a kid, and you give a kid a jig, or you give a kid a worm, and you have, you know, four other really good bass fishermen in the boat, and they're fishing, they're fishing, and they're just like thinking all this smart stuff and how to outwit them. And then the kid in the boat just starts catching fish and catching fish, and that, the kid ends up catching more fish and often bigger ones than all the smart guys that are fishing smart. But those kids are just throwing it out. They don't know what it is. They don't know how they're working it. They're just throwing something out. They're wiggling it. And that's what's getting the fish's attention, not the person that's trying to, oh, well, they're probably thinking, you know, they're probably right there. Or, no, they wouldn't want to hit it from that angle. They'd probably want to hit it from this angle. So I'm going to put it right there. And, and those kids are like, Ugh. Go! I got one! I got one! And everybody's going, what the hell? How? how what? So yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to come on and do this whole uh, intelligence level of bass. Because like I said, I think most, most, they just, they're not, they're not that smart. They don't learn like that. And you get a lot of it, a lot, you get it from pros, you get it from, I have another part to this series that I'm going to do about um, some kind of hacks in the industry that tell us fishermen things or write things in articles about fishermen that is completely and totally false. That's coming up soon. But yeah, just, they're not, just go fish for them. Don't, don't just constantly try to outthink it. Don't think, oh, they're not going to hit this because it's not this color. Oh, they're not going to hit that because this color. Or, or no, they're probably not here because of this. And that. They're just a predator. They just eat. They just want to eat and not get eaten. And, you know, lay babies once a year. So that's going to do it for this little biology bites. I hope it helped. Until next time.